What's up guys, Hayden here again from Alarm System Store, and today we're doing the Honeywell side of the Cosmod tutorial. Um, one thing to keep in mind, I wanted to let you guys know right off the bat, if you are using trigger pin 17 or 18 on Honeywell, you will not be able to hook up any more than two Cosmos or two smokes on the Cosmod. If you want to hook up more than that, then you will need a 4204 relay. That's how I have it set up over here. I'm assuming you want more than two smokes in your home, but if you don't, or you have, you know, just three or four that you want to hook up, I would recommend using regular four or two wire smokes and COs. So I'm going to hop over to the panel. I'm going to show you guys how I have it wired up. And then I'm going to show the same wiring for the sensors as I did in the last video, but it's the same no matter what system you're using. The only difference when it comes to wiring is how it is wired to the panel. And then after that, I'm going to do the programming on the Honeywell. Basically, all we got to do is set up the zones and set up the relay so that it knows how to reset the module. And then we'll call it a day. All right. All right so like I said, we got to use the 4204 relay. And I've done kind of a little quick setup here. And I'm just going to walk you through the wiring rather than actually have you watch me set it up. So first off, we have our AC terminals. We have our keypad terminals black, red, green, and yellow, and then we have our zone terminals. So we left zone one blank because that is specifically for two wire smokes. Zone two is hooked up to the CO zone, and zone three is hooked up to the fire zone on the Cosmod. So the CO, IDC positive and negative are going to terminals 10 and 11 on the panel. The smoke IDC positive and smoke IDC negative on the Cosmod are going to terminals 12 and 13 on the terminal. Now for the 4204 relay, I'm not going to walk through the whole process of setting it up, but basically you hook it up like a keypad and address it just the same. So those are these four terminals are going to the keypad terminals up here. And then for the power off of the Cosmod, the power in off of the Cosmod goes to the NC on the first relay. The negative is run to the negative on the panel. Now, you do need an additional wire from the common on the, the relay to the auxiliary plus terminal. Now with that explained, we will hop over and start hooking up the two wire version of this module. So now that we have the module connected to the panel, what I'm going to do is show you the two wire version of the module. I'm going to show you how to connect a two wire Cosmo sensor and a two WTAB smoke detector. Uh, after that, we're going to move on to the four wire. So now we're going to hook up our Cosmo and smoke detector. This is the Cosmod two wire smoke detector, two WTAB. And this is our two wire Cosmod module. So the first thing we need to do is hook up the end of the line resistors to the module. So we're gonna take our panel EOL resistors. On a Honeywell, it's a 2K. On a DSC, it's 5.6. And we're going to hook them into the EOL smoke and the CO EOL terminals here. That is going to tell our Cosmod what resistance to look for at the end of the line for the panel. Now we're going to wire our first two wires to the module. So since this is a two wire, let's have a red and a black, power and negative. And we're going to hook them to these IDC positive and IDC negative terminals here. All right, now that we have our first wire hooked to the module, we're going to go ahead and hook up the two-wire Cosmod. So what we're going to do is get rid of these yellow and green wires. And just use the red and black. Now, on the Cosmo there are three terminals. This is the two-wire version. If it was the four-wire, there would be two additional terminals here. You'll see that in a moment. But as we go around clockwise, the single one right here is the negative. 
Now there are two positives here. There's a positive in and a positive out as you go around clockwise. So we're going to take our power wire, the red, from IDC positive, we're going to hook it to the power in on the Cosmo. And we're going to hook our black, our negative, to the negative. Now we're going to hook up our 2WTAB. So we'll take the cover off of that. So we're going to take our two wires, red and black, and we are going to hook the black to the negative terminal and the positive red to the positive out terminal on the Cosmo. We are going to take our red and black to the 2WTAB and again as we go around clockwise we have a positive in, a positive out, and a negative. So our negative is obviously going to be the black and our positive is going to go to our positive in. Now that we have our smokes wired, we have to hook up the Cosmo Cosmod EOL resistor. So on any Cosmod, it's going to come with one 3.9K resistor. It'll have these little terminals on the end. And what we're going to do is we're going to hook that to the positive out and the negative on the very last smoke in the line. So. As I said, going clockwise, our second positive is the positive out. So we'll hook this in. And then our negative is going to go on the negative terminal. And that is it for wiring two-wire Cosmos. So now that we've hooked up the two-wire version, I'm going to go ahead and install a four-wire version and start hooking up four-wire versions of the sensors as well. And then okay, so now we have the four-wire mod hooked up. And like I said, the four-wire hooks up the exact same way as the two-wire to the panel. Now, the wires to the sensors are going to be a little bit different because we're using two extra down the line. So the first thing we're going to do is hook our resistors up like we did prior to on the other module. You're going to do the same thing. And now we're going to hook up our wires to the module itself. So now we're going to be using four wire. So we're going to use our red and black for our power wires, which are going to go on these power out plus and the power out negative. So I'm just going to do red on the positive, black on the negative. And then we're going to be using our white and green or yellow and green, whatever you have, on the IDC positive and IDC negative. So now that we have that done, we're going to be wiring our first smoke. So again, these smokes, as you can see, this one has five terminals this time. And this is the Cosmo, the four-wire Cosmo. So it's got the negative and the two positives like we had before, but it's also got two terminals over here. And these are for your zone inputs. So the green and yellow or green and white, are going to go in these two terminals, and the power is going to go in the exact same place as we did before. So our power, since black was on negative, and red was on positive, we're going to put the black on our negative, and our red on the positive in, which is always the first one clockwise. Once we have those tight, we're going to hook our other two wires 
to these other two terminals. And that is our first smoke wired. So now we're going to grab our wire that we're going to run for the second one. So for our next smoke, we're going to hook it to the first one. We're going to follow the same principle we've been using up till now, red for positive, black for negative. But our red is going to go on our positive out as the second terminal, positive terminal clockwise. I'll stick that in there. Loosen up this terminal. Stick our black in there. And then our green and yellow if you'd like to keep it simple, you can put the greens together and the yellows together, however you want to do it. And now we're going to run these wires to our next smoke. So on this one, we have five terminals again. You have two positives, a negative, and then two A's. The two A's are going to represent these two terminals on the Cosmo. This is a regular 4WTAB. We're going to put our red on our positive N, which is our first positive terminal clockwise. Our black on our negative. For our last two terminals, just going to be the green and yellow into the A's, doesn't matter which one goes where. Now we gotta figure out where to put this resistor. So, for our four wire smokes, it is going to go on our zone wires. So it's gonna go on the two A's. So now that we have those wired, we can plug in our smokes. And then power up the system. All right, now for programming on the Honeywell. I've already got it set up so that it doesn't beep the whole time that we're sitting here talking, but I'm gonna run you through what I've done Show you how to set up the zones, show you how to set up the relay to react properly to the module, and how to turn on both the standard fire and CO function. So, we're going to go into programming. 4112800. And then we're going to hit star 56. Yes, to confirm. Now, since we skipped zone one, because that's for two wire smokes, we're going to make sure that that is a zero, zero zone type. And on zone two, we're going to have it set up for the CO, which is a 14. So zone two, type 14, partition one, into the line. And then for zone three, Zone 3, zone type 09, which is standard fire, partition 1, and end of the line is on. So those are our zone programming. Back out of that, and then we're going to go to star 79. Now this is where you tell the system that you're using a relay. So star 79, and then output number 1. And as for output type, and relay is a number one. And then the module address, that's adjusted by the 
dip switches on the relay, or the 4204. So that's set by default as 12. And then this is going to be relay position 1. The 4204 has four relay positions, so make sure you choose the right one. All right, we're going to back out of that. Zero, zero, and hit star, and then eight, zero. Now this is where you tell that relay how to react. So output function number one is going to be activated by zone type which is a 2. And then we're going to set the zone type as fire zone reset 54. Set it on partition 1 or 0 for any partition. I prefer to have it specific to the partition I'm using. And then output number, this is telling it which relay to use. We only have one relay set up, so it's going to be 0, 1. All right, guys, that's going to do it for me. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave us a comment down below. Um, let us know what you want to see. Let us know how we did, you know, whatever you want to talk about. Leave it down there. We love getting comments from you guys because it really helps us out. It lets us know what you guys want from us. All right. And uh, again, I am Hayden from Alarm System Store, and I will catch you guys on the next one.